welcome to Traveling Marlins. We are finishing up on a three-part little segment playlist about Arlington. And if you haven't seen the first two, I will put a link to it right up here for those of you that can see it. And then, of course, a link in the description below so everybody can see it. As I've mentioned before, Arlington is known as the entertainment capital of Texas and it's also branded as the Dream City. It sits perfectly between Dallas-Fort Worth area, so it's a perfect place to stay. So, let's get to it and add a few more places to your itinerary. Let's start with Vegas before Vegas. This was a secret place that had armed guards all around it, and many famous people visited it back in the day. Just look at this list of known visitors and performers. spent over 20 years collecting memorabilia, photographs, and stories to pull top-of-hill visitors back in time to the days of illegal moonshine, gambling, brothels, and murder at a place later called Vegas before Vegas. In the early 1920s, Beulah Marshall bought a beautiful property located off the Transcontinental Bankhead Highway, which connected Washington, D.C. and San Diego, California. This property is now off Division Street in Arlington, Texas. There, she opened a dining establishment that became very popular as a destination for afternoon teas and dinners. Because of its spectacular view and its location on the transcontinental Bankhead Highway, it was a perfect spot for a tea room. Before we get to the juicy stuff, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. The best compliment you can do for us is to subscribe. And if you don't want any notifications, you can just change the bell to none. If you want notifications, then change it to the black bell. But we're really trying to get to our 1,000 subscribers. So if you could help us with that, we'd greatly appreciate it. Okay, now back to the juicy stuff that Fred Browning did. A man named Fred Browning began purchasing portions of their property in 1926, adding escape tunnels and secret rooms for hiding the gambling paraphernalia, guards at the front gate who triggered an alarm to the gamblers, the property became home to a secret casino. During a raid, the casino would be converted very quickly into a dining room as the gamblers escaped through hidden tunnels into the brushy hillside or the elegant tea garden where they could pretend they had been enjoying their tea and sandwiches. Rumor has it that the tunnels were also used to carry out bodies of those who were shot during brawling gambling escapades. Listen now as Vicki shows us the tunnels and secret rooms. Just dealt the mess. So uh, come this way. In the presentation I was talking about how uh, Jack Poe told us about another tunnel that went from the casino to Day Our Kitchen, opened up the horse barn. So they came back here, started drilling holes. Uh, come on this way. Come around here. Just walk around this oh, way. That's okay. good. Just kind of fill this in. Okay. All righty. Okay, you ready? Now listen. So they were coming out at night digging this out and putting dirt in buckets. I'm off in the floor behind them because they wanted to surprise me. And I came down here one day, there was a metal plate here, 
and asked them, I said, what are y'all doing? And they laughed about this much unearthing this right here. And I'll show you. This is the room right there. We had no idea we had this room. There's a door this way full of dirt and one under here full of dirt. And I think if we dig that one out, it's going to take us to a tunnel. So uh, y'all look at that and then you're going to come to the back of the kitchen here. Okay, come this way y'all. Uh, come towards me. Uh, what's behind this door? We just unearthed a ramp about uh, six months ago. We didn't know we had a ramp here. And you're going to get to do something, so I'm going to open this up. See that tunnel there? Oh my word! Yeah. And um, here I'm going to get. It's too dark. I'll turn the light on so you can see better. Oh, Look okay. at this ramp that we just unearthed. So we put up handrails, and if you're sure-footed and you've signed that release form, do you want to go down in the tunnel? You can. So you go down, it's pretty steep, but hang on to the handrail. Go down at the end of the tunnel, turn around, and come back out, okay? This, this, this was original? Yes. Wow. A ramp. A ramp. The school put this in in the 70s. Wow. No, this is a, we don't know why the school put this in. But anyway, uh, just recently we started letting people go in the tunnel. This oh, tunnel was for escape, uh, also used to carry out bodies of people who were murdered here. Oh, and for a while, they carried them across the street. No, no, and it was being up here. Well, there's a tunnel we can pass. Oh, I thought that was wood at first. And to think who's touched this coming through here. Yes. Oh, do you think? Is it hollow or is it rebarb? Go in that one. Previous wires, previous wiring. Killer Smith there. Okay, thank you. What? What did you see? You didn't see a snake, did you? No. Oh, you're saying you saw a snake. Old wiring. Just go out into the dining room, please. That's something. That is cool. Makes a great photo of the Oh. You want to do that? Get a photo? She said it makes a great photo without the flash. Go back and get it. I'm curious about the skull. That, uh, I think they put that in years ago so it would be above the trees and over the school. Oh, I just hold it and come this way I'm going to show you something here we've got a tunnel right here so watch this so they come together when there is a tunnel yes, or there's not okay
Oh, it is? That's the door where the tunnel came out. So is that the tunnel we were in a while ago? It is, yeah. And your rods will pick that up? Yes, it did. Just, I just picked it oh. up, watch. Only one that that one uh, because of safety reasons they filled in all the tunnels. I had a guy tell me he said he sat down over the hill drinking beer and he would stare at the tunnels and said one day he was down there and this guy came with a big front end loader started filling it in and he questioned him about it. He said um, it was orders from the uh, seminary at the time they need to fill them in because. Students were getting in there, and a police, uh, fireman said that one of the students was in one of the tunnels having a seizure, and they liked to never found them. Decided oh, wow. once and for all, I was going to figure out: Do we have one going to the brothel? So I got out my rods, and I got even with that speed limit sign. They crossed, took me over to the foundation of the brothel. So I go in the office. I'm real excited. I said, "We have a tunnel going to the brothel." think, you know, it looks like now we could have up to 20 tunnels there, believe it or not. Oh, wow. uh, we got the big horse barn from top of the hill, had 12 stalls, third stall, uh, had a tunnel that came up uh, through that third stall, and so the History Channel picked it up on the side of the building. We got two coming across the campus. This building here was for Royal Ford, a prize race horse that I was bred to a horse named Handfly, or Fall Hill Fly, the Sea Biscuit, 1940. And um, uh, he, uh, Red Pollard, rode uh, that horse, and he also rode horses for Fred Browning. The well house, this caught the water for the pool in the original pool in that building. locker rooms, you've got the steps coming off, but black water kept seeping up the bottom of it. And they even tried a liner and that still didn't help. But having this building around this pool through the years, even though it was used all this was used for storage, has saved the pool for such a time as this. So whatever uh, uh, rooms, uh, spaces the school gives me I use. So we've got a museum going here, furniture from First Baptist the Institute, the Seminary, John Birch Hall. And then we have Top of the Hill furniture here, right through here. So uh, years ago, Jack Poe and I were standing up there where I did the tour with the maintenance man and he began to describe his wheelbarrow. And our maintenance man said, just a minute, he comes roll pushing this up towards us, Jack Poe's wheelbarrow. And, uh, he and Benny Binion would melt silver coins and jewelry in this smelting pot. And then he said they would pour it into a butter tub like thing and it would harden. And so when uh, Benny Binion got ready to go to Las Vegas, they put the silver bars down that wheelbarrow, pushed it up there, loaded that Binion stage wagon. And he said it was all lopsided, so said to, you know, kind of space it out so, you know, the be even. This was also used uh, to cart the bodies through the tunnel over to the pit car. And uh, I just recently, I had, I still get new information in. This gal came in for the tour, said, you're going to talk about the pit farm? I said, yes. So we get done and she was telling me that she interviewed somebody um, when she was in her 20s. And he just got out of the pen and she said, uh, I don't know if you should outlay oh. this. Uh, okay. I think that was originally the brothel. 
I think you're right. That's why they think there's tunnels going on. Well, Marky, what do you think? You're on camera. Recommend it. It's interesting. It is. John Wayne was here. Your favorite. Clark Gable and Howard Hughes. Mm-hmm. Liberace performed. So, very interesting. It's worth a visit. I'm not ready. We are yet. going to our favorite little dining spot. <laughs> <laughs> Better known as El Gabacho's. Yes, El Gabacho's. And this, oh, you can see it. That's Bowen Road. What are we on? Abrams? Abrams. And this is El Gabacho's right here. It's off the beaten path. But they have fantastic chicken fajita nachos, which we get a lot and margaritas and things like that so this is El Gabacho's dish here is chicken fajita nachos. They are delicious and they put on a ton of chicken. And our friends love the fajitas. And there you see a beer rita, which is my favorite. They have an extensive menu. And as always, I will put a link in the description so you can see where this place is. Try it out. It's fantastic. Okay, here we go. 
And lastly, for those of you who like to ride or hike, here's one of the two parks I really like because of their length for cyclists and the canopy of trees. Good morning. Good morning. It's called Fish Creek Linear Park in Arlington, of course. The other park I really like is similar to this and it's called River Legacy Park. It's just bigger. Come on and ride with us and enjoy this beautiful day. Taking my time as the sun it shines On me and everyone that has come to find This world is cruel but there's nothing new Living in the moment is the only truth well, Let's go slow mm -hmm. Living in the moment is the only truth well, Let's go slow mm -hmm. Sorted towns are where I'd rather be They give me love and they set me free The ocean's tides can live without the moon And all in the same goes for me and you Let's go slow mm. Living in the moment is the only truth Let's go slow mm. Living in the moment is the only truth Let's go slow mm -hmm. Living in the moment is the only truth no. Let's go slow that's all we have for this week, and we are going to be traveling next week, so you're going to see us in a, whoa, in a different location because we're actually traveling right now. So, see you next week. Bye-bye.